Uh, we have Denise who asked the question, has there been any word on supports for transit? And I, I just wanted to put that question uh, to you, Jonathan. Um, have you had any word about potential support so that our transit system uh, doesn't decline? Yeah, so, uh, you know, unfortunately, we've already had to make uh, some service reductions on, on our transit system, and those reductions are expected to continue for, for the next few weeks uh, to, to March 18th uh, there. Uh, we are really hopeful that we can actually start to, to put a pause on that and actually start to help rebuild uh, the, the transit system and, and the service there. Um, so far, we have not received uh, any, any firm commitments from the provincial governments, uh, provincial and federal governments, which will be necessary for us to be able to, to do that. Uh, but I can say that, uh, you know, there has been some really promising uh, discussions with, with the provincial government, because I think uh, the province has really started to identify that as we start to move into the recovery phase, and we want the economy to start going again, uh, having a, a public transit system that's not viable is actually going to hinder those efforts. So I'm cautiously optimistic, uh, and we're having conversations almost on, on a daily basis uh, regarding regarding this uh, this topic and this work, and uh, and I'm hopeful. But uh, having said that, time is of the essence because you know I think if even by next week, uh, if we don't have uh, have firm commitments in hand, unfortunately the cuts planned for for May 18th will have to go ahead. Yeah, uh, and Jonathan, I, I think uh, we both uh, shout out to Judy Darcy, our MLA in New Westminster, uh, who's been working extraordinarily ha hard through this entire uh, entire pandemic. And, and British Columbia and the BC government actually has the best track record in the country. Uh, when you think back a month and a half ago, BC tragically had over 80% of the COVID-19 cases in Canada. Uh, but as the other provinces have not put into place uh, the management plans that they should have uh, around COVID-19, uh, BC has fallen from having 80% of the cases to less than 5% of the cases. Uh, that's uh, very promising that uh, our BC provincial government has understood the importance of putting in place the, uh, uh, the, the health planning, healthcare planning, so that COVID-19 has not taken off as it has in Alberta and Ontario and Quebec, uh, tragically. Uh, I've got another uh, question from uh, Brad, who's just come on. Uh, hi, Brad. How can we best lobby the federal government to provide support for essential transit in our community? Um, I'll flip that to you, Jonathan, to start, and then um, I'll, uh, I'll come back on that as well. Yeah, well, I would love to love to hear your take on that, uh, Peter, uh, as as well too. But uh, you know, I think uh, really this is a critical juncture for for our public public transit system. Uh, you know, I don't think uh, public transit systems have faced this kind of crisis, uh, uh, you know, ever in their their existence there. And uh, you know, we we are really really struggling there. And it, you know, it's it's not just a, a Metro Vancouver issue. It is uh, it is cities all across the country, cities all around uh, around the world. Uh, what we've seen in, in other places, even just south of the border in the United States, is uh, significant federal programs to help support public ed transit agencies so that yeah. they can remain viable there. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's import important that uh, that message starts to, to come to, to the federal government as well, too. Uh, we fully recognize they've been inundated with a, a huge crisis and uh, have had to respond with a, a number of really important, important programs. Um, but public transit doesn't seem to have kind of raised uh, or gotten, gotten, you know, gotten the attention. And really, ultimately, I think it's going to be up to society in general to, to fight and, uh, and, and call for support for, for public transit, uh, transit system there. So